vehicle lifts off. The booster technology that launched this rocket puts India in the same league as just five other countries and marks a big step forward in its space program. It now joins Russia, the U.S., China, Japan and France in the so-called cryo club. They're the only nations that possess cryogenic engine technology, which uses supercooled liquid fuels to produce the huge amounts of thrust needed to lift heavy satellites into space. The most important element of this mission was the flight testing of the Indian cryogenic engine and stage, and it performed as required, as expected for the mission. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, had been trying to develop cryogenic rocket technology since the 1990s, but was denied it by Russia under pressure from the United States. This latest cryogenic launch comes on the heels of India's Mars Orbiter probe, launched last November. That was a major source of pride for all Indians, and it put New Delhi ahead of Beijing, its main space rival. India's Mars Orbiter was launched a few weeks before NASA's latest Mars probe, and at a fraction of the cost. And that's precisely what concerns other space agencies vying for lucrative contracts to carry heavy payloads into space. India's low-cost model makes its space program competitive. It will save hundreds of millions of dollars by not having to pay to launch its own heavy satellites, and it can now charge other countries who wish to launch their own. Banu Patnagar, Al Jazeera.